Okay, this is going to be the official video for the timing tools in Thinkorswim. The first thing that you want to do inside of Thinkorswim is you want to make sure that you're going to the Charts tab and that you pull up a chart. In this example, I'm using Baidu and I'm using a daily chart. And then I want to show you how to get the drawing tools that we're going to be using for the timing. So one of the ways is by clicking on Drawings drawing tools and then you'll see them over here on the right the ones we're interested in fibonacci time ratios which uses two points on the chart and then fibonacci time extensions which uses three points on the chart now that's one way and then there's a slightly easier way and that is by clicking the middle mouse button and all of these tools just come up instantly okay so that's the easier way once you get used to it so now we're going to actually use the tools and set them up. So here I want to click on the Fibonacci time ratios because I want to show you an example with a high to high cycle. Okay, so for example, we can click on one high, then click on a second high. Okay, and then it drops the cycles for you. These are all the projections, you know, forward in time. It tells you which cycle it is. I think you can have the label show up on the bottom or the top. I'm not 100% sure about that. But that is the tool that you're going to use from two points that will project forward in time. Okay. Now, when you first use it, it's not going to have the right ratios on there. So what you need to do is, you know, go ahead and, you know, click on two points and let whatever the default is show up. But then what you want to do is right click on top of one of the lines, choose edit properties, and this box will come up that will allow you to choose the ratios that you want to use. Now every once in a while I'll use 0.236 in time, but not very often, so I'm going to take that off. You can always add it back if you want. But then here are all the other ratios that we do want visible including 382, 50%, 618, 786, 100%, 1272, 1618, and 2618. The other thing that you want to make sure of is that it starts the ratios at the end point, okay? Because otherwise, um, it's the old way that they used to do it, you know, from the beginning point, and that does not match up with the tools that I use and that I teach, okay? So... That's what you need to do. You can save this as default and then click OK. And then you should be all set to run the ratios from two points. Now I have one more that I need to show you. So I'm going to clear this drawing set. And then let's look at the, um, actually, I like the TWLO example. TWLO, I'm going to look at a daily chart here. Don't take so long. All right, there we go. So in this case, I'm going to show you the tool that uses um, three points where you can compare swings in the same direction. So I'm going to do the clicking the middle mouse again, and I'm going to choose this time the Fibonacci time extensions. So here I want to compare these two swings, for example. I'm going to look at this prior high to low and compare it to this high to low. Here, click on the high, click on the low, and then click on the third point that we're projecting from, which is right over here. Okay, and you're going to see that the 100%, you know, hit at that exact low. This is actually time symmetry that we'll be talking about in the class, but that's how you use the three pointed tool. Now, again, when you first use it, it's probably not going to have the correct settings. So go ahead and check it by right clicking on and hit edit properties. And then with this one, uh, let's see. We're just making sure that 100%, 1272 and 1618 are visible. And uh, I have it set up as, uh, you know, we're showing the coefficients at the bottom. But that should be correct. Just make sure it matches up with what I have here. Save it as default. Click OK. And then you're ready to work with that tool. 
So I'll give you one more um, example here. So let's clear the drawing set. Let's say, for example, we wanted to compare a low to high swing with this current low to high swing. So I would click on the low, click on this high, and then bring it over to the next low that I want to project from. And then you have your 100% uh, projection. And in this case, it comes out to um, uh, February 9th. Anyway, so we'll be working with more of these, but that's just how you get the tools set up. And I will show you how we use them because we're going to run cycles, you know, highs to highs, lows to lows, highs to lows, and so on. And uh, that's when the fun begins. <laughs>